mention the word landfill, and images of mountains of reeking garbage comes to mind. However, at Bukit Taga Sanitary Landfill, its managing director, Chok Eng Ta, takes pride in the fact that the sight and stench of garbage is barely noticeable. How do we minimise the, the amount of smell is to try and cover the waste as soon as it is uh, deposited on the ground. And at any one time, we are only opening a small section of the landfill cell uh, for the waste disposal. So you can see the rest of the landfill is all covered with uh, earth. Uh, and then we will continue to deposit the waste in layers until it reaches the final level of the landfill cell. With 2,500 tonnes of waste received daily from Kuala Lumpur and Selayang, this modern waste disposal facility does its job, and with green technology in mind. So what you can see is uh, the side slope uh, has already been lined with uh, the high-density polyethylene liner. It goes all the way to the bottom of the valley. And after you lay the liner, you can put an immense amount of waste on top of it. And the liner is to protect the uh, leachate from getting into the ground. Chalk says the sanitary landfill is also able to treat its leachate back to clear water. This is a, a lagoon that uh, the aerator is still operating. So therefore, a lot of digestion is taking place now with the microbes, you know, u utilizing the oxygen to uh, burn up the food. So that when the pollutant is uh, burned up, it is digested into simpler components which consists of water, carbon dioxide, nitrate and nitrogen. So this is the Duff plant which uh, can further refine the treatment of the treated effluent. Eh? So the tiny bubble carry this flocculated solid and the flocculated solid has been skimmed off to uh, this side. Eh? So this will become sludge. This one goes back to the landfill. So this is the uh, final process of our treatment before it goes to the uh, reed bed. Eh? So you can see the water has already reached uh, a high degree of clarity. Eh? We finally uh, pump the treated effluent into the reed bed and let it stay here for 14 days lah, and it will remove some of this heavy metal so that the leachate or rather the treated effluent that comes out of it eh, is much better. The company is also installing solar panels over retired landfills as a source of renewable energy while harvesting the methane gas to generate electricity. A finished cell is a cell that has uh, already received enough garbage. So what we do is uh, we put a layer of this green liner on top of it which achieve two purposes. Number one is to prevent uh, rainwater from getting into the cell because uh, rainfall that goes into the cell will become leachate. Eh? Now, secondly, the uh, green liner will also prevent methane from escaping into the environment. The methane gas is extracted via all these pipelines that you can see in the foreground here. And we apply a negative pressure so that uh, the methane gas can be extracted efficiently in a continuous fashion. He says with proper planning and comprehensive designs, these sanitary landfills could continue to be used after it is full. So eventually you can turn this uh, big mass of uh, garbage uh, with a layer of earth on top of it into a parkland. Of course, uh, in the far, far future when uh, all the garbage has decomposed and uh, undergoing the process of self-compaction, the land can be used for other purposes, even buildings. While there are many options available to waste disposal in Malaysia, the sanitary landfill, with its environmentally sustainable waste treatment method, seems the most viable for the near future.